Hey, all you sinners and saints, it's TJ, the Motor's Age here. I'm sitting in the uh, parking lot of the Aldi supermarket, and my missus is in there. It's a Friday. We just got done with our, our uh, traditional Friday fish dinner, and uh, my wife decided, as she often does, to uh, stop by and uh, pick up a few things before the weekend the crew hits uh, the stores and things get crowded. But while I'm sitting here, I thought I might talk to you about something that's coming up that's very, very special. So hang on here and uh, uh, listen up. to you in the name of Jesus Christ, our crucified and risen Lord, and I bring you his love. Amen. Yeah, today I'm thinking about an event that's coming up in the midst of January. Uh, we're in the first week here of January, and uh, I'd like to give you a plenty of notice about this event so that uh, if you're free to make uh, the trip, uh, you can begin making plans now. The trip is... Uh, to Washington, D.C. and uh, about the third week of, uh, of this month, they're going to have what they call the March of Life. And uh, the March of Life is uh, something that uh, has been gone on before and it's an event that's gathered together to, uh, uh, to raise the issue uh, before us about the, uh, uh, the legislation that we call Roe versus Wade in which uh, abortion has become a commonplace thing 
in Orlando. Now, when we as Christians look at this event, uh, you know, there are persons with the church that have come down on both sides, both uh, pro-life for the child or pro-choice for the woman and uh, not necessarily ending up the one way or the other. Uh, consequently, uh, the, uh, yes, we do have a certain amount of freedom as Christians, but uh, we don't uh, overturn the law. And the law as Christians brings us to the place of uh, Exodus, I believe it is chapter 15, uh, and I think the 13th verse or so, uh, it says uh, something very important for us to know. It says, thou shalt not kill. A thou shalt not kill doesn't limit itself to those who are uh, born and breathing. It means uh, the taking of, uh, it's a mandate against the taking of life of uh, an unborn child, one that is in the womb. Uh, and so I don't think there's any limitation on that. Uh, Almighty God is for love and uh, for uh, life, and uh, that hasn't changed. Uh, that's something that uh, God allows the uh, the death of people to occur, but uh, and uh, on occasion uh, takes uh, sinners to task about uh, their behavior. But in in general, uh, the Lord uh, seeks after life and uh, the maintenance of life. So I think when it comes down to it, uh, we as Christians are called to raise our voices and uh, raise our bods up and uh, you know do important things about this loss of life. I've heard uh, statistics recently that uh, as many as maybe 3,000 children or more a day are uh, slain you know, in the womb or uh, right at birth. Uh, 3,000 children per day are, are killed or are murdered. Uh, now, you know, they, in many cases, uh, this is done to, to uh, mothers who are in difficult cir circumstance. And they often use this as an excuse for why it's do being done. Uh, well, uh, I don't go along with that excuse uh, as a uh, person of, uh, of faith. Uh, I believe that uh, we need to pay attention to the law of God, thou shalt not kill, and only in dire exceptions, dire exceptions, should life be taken from anyone, including uh, uh, in birth or in war and, uh, and uh, other cases. So, you know, it should be rather an exception, more than the commonplace, to where we end up with 3,000 children a day being aborted. And, uh, you know, this d issue needs to come to the front, and uh, we need to do something about the legislation that we have on the books right now. So I invite you to uh, go down to Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm.